Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito, where here we can take a two-week break like we work for Goldman Sachs. If you know, you know. My name's Darian. My name's Landon. And today we have a plethora of stuff for you. We have Marvel, we have DC, we got games, you name it, we got it. Let's talk. Landon, how have you been doing in this, like, two, two and a half week break that we took? <laughs> well, uh, I can't wait to hear your response of how you've been doing. <laughs> oh, but, uh, I have a story. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I've been doing okay. Father has been scolding me for playing Marvel's Avengers. <laughs> Cheers, but um, well, I, see, uh, I, I feel got... like you've been doing more than okay because you saw a movie this week. Oh, I did see. To. Or this right. or last um, week, whenever it was. I don't know. Uh, it's been. I've seen the movie three times. Yeah, and you, you saw Spider Man No Way Home. I, I, I mean, you won't count a fourth if you count pirating. <laughs> oh. Um, uh oh. <laughs> it's worth it though. No, but I, um but we'll talk know, we'll talk about I just um, don't have seen it. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but let me, yeah. Let me get into what I let me right. get into what I've been doing. Um uh well I did get Spider and Shire Dimensions. I just want to point that out real quick, which is a great game. Good game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go. But anyway, how how have you been? <sighs> All right. Tell me all about it. Tell me all about so, it. So, ladies and gentlemen, obviously we haven't posted an episode in a little while <laughs> because the like day before uh, we I was going to see No Way Home with Landon, I got COVID. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm sorry. And it, I'm was, it was quite but, unfortunate timing. Oh, dude, the movie the movie was great, by the way. Just I, one, I've one. heard. Yeah, I have not seen No Way Home. Like, you know, you know, like four times. Four times. <laughs> four I plan times. on watching it this upcoming week, and next week, hopefully, hopefully, better, hopefully, be, we be will better, be better. we will be reviewing that movie and talking about the Doctor Strange teaser trailer. Because um, as far as we know, we're still stuck between split universals. Yes. <laughs> of, um, yeah, of we all, but we have time. <laughs> We have time to record this podcast, and uh, once, okay. Uh, one thing I also wanted to point out during my COVID break, uh, I started watching Daredevil on Netflix. The only Netflix show I had watched previously was um, Punisher, mm. and which I love. Punisher. I never finished season two, but season one was great. And yeah. um, I started watching Daredevil. I'm almost at the end of season one. And I'm loving that show so far. So maybe we'll do an extra beef on that one day. Um, <clears throat> but another thing that I did was watch Hawkeye. Uh, yeah, it was, I mean, it was, a, it was an okay show, I thought. <sighs> well, we're going to talk about it. But first, before we talk about it, Happy New Year, everybody. Because when you're yeah. hearing this episode, it'll be New Year. It'll be uh, um, January yeah, 1st, 2022. Exciting stuff okay. coming in 2022 for you guys. Hopefully they've announced the next um, <laughs> roadmap for Avengers. I'm oh. for. Here's hoping. Uh, yeah, I was hoping, but we won't get but it. Let's get into Hawkeye. Um, so we're going to review episodes five and six. We're going to spend a little less time on five, more time on six, because five was a couple weeks ago. Six is way bigger. Yeah. And five, way bigger. five was a good episode, but six was a big episode. Um, but yeah, we're ready to get started with that. Spoilers for Hawkeye episode five, Ronan. I believe was the name of it, right? I think Ronan. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It was. All right. Um, expectations when you were going into the fifth episode. We got obviously Yelena revealed at the end of the fourth. Going into the fifth, what were you thinking? Uh, I was somewhat excited. I, I mean, what's your thoughts on the show as a whole? Like, be, like let's say before this episode came out, what, what were your thoughts on the show as a whole? I was, I was loving it. I was wrong. I was long for the run. I wasn't. I, I was, it got better after episode hmm. four. I feel like. Uh, I, yeah, I was into the first two episodes. Mm-hmm. I thought three was okay. Four was better, and I didn't. I kind of stopped watching. I started watching after that until just yesterday. How dare you do I that? just did. I this just, is Marvel we're talking about here, Les. Well, yeah, but you didn't see No Way Home, did you? No. Shut up. Uh, no, I don't hear no COVID excuse. That's, not, that's no not fair. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. 
You missed the biggest movie of the decade. <laughs> I know <laughs> I did, okay? Yeah, yeah. But, um... <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, so, but, like, you know... So, I was, I was somewhat... I'll be honest, I was kind of dreading coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, um... But I, I will say these two episodes were pretty good. Yeah. Um, episode five, you start off in 2018. Um, a lot to do with the Black Widow movie, this episode. Um, yeah, very heavy. Yeah, but which which would be expected. I mean, that was the first time we met Yelena, and the only other time we've seen yeah. her. I mean, and I end credit scene, too, so it's very... That's true. Um, so I want to I wanna talk about that opening scene, because this is the second time we've seen a character um how do i explain it? like we saw monica in um wandavision her coming back from the snap and her experience with that um, yeah now we've seen yelena's and mm. i thought that scene was amazing i was yeah i'm always into it those are like my favorite scenes from post in game is i like those scenes where people are coming back yeah because right. so, um, what society looked like while well, it was you know people who weren't snapped now we're seeing people come back like yeah, uh, yeah. Monica and all that yeah I found that crazy um, when we saw Yelena come back she went you know she obviously just went to the bathroom she was freeing widows like she was her mission was and at the yeah. end of Black Widow and um, she goes to the bathroom and she's washing her hands and then she turns to dust which I thought was crazy and I was like oh it's 2018 this makes sense and yeah. um, like she she comes back and you see the wallpaper like changing, which I thought was weird. But yeah, well, I mean it's just over time. Yeah, it's, it just it, like didn't make sense to me. I was like, why is it just why is she just now seeing it change? Should it just be like there? But, yeah, I mean this what it is. Um, we see we saw a little bit in Spider Man Far From Home of the um, the marching band stuff coming, the basketball team coming back, and like yeah. during the marching band show. Um, yeah, that was another example of that. But I thought that scene was really cool. And she comes back out and it's been five years. And then she's like, oh, I got to go find Natasha. I got to tell her that I'm okay. And I was like, oh, man, this, <laughs> yeah, let, me tell you, let me tell you one thing that this show has done. This show has made me feel so, like even more upset that Black Widow's dead. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I think, I, 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 think I was like kind of the, almost the whole goal of the show. <laughs> yeah. To do that. Because I mean, obviously, Hawkeye. And the Black Widow were like really close, so yeah, it's expected to have. And you know, you know what? You know what's scaring me because of this show, the yeah. armor, the armor wars. When we get to that, and now they're going to do the same thing, but with Tony Stark. I feel like. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, I'm yeah. like, no, no. <laughs> please, uh, no. <laughs> that would be a really big. Thing. You think? Um, you think I'll get Robert Downey Jr. in there? No. Do some scenes. No, they okay. don't have. They don't have the money for that. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, not, not anymore. Now we got those billions. We're dollars. doing Disney Plus. He wouldn't do Disney Plus show. Um, but let's see. So episode five was um had had a lot to do with Yelena. Yelena meets um Kate for the first time. I instantly hit it off. I knew that they were going to be like a um frenemy type thing going on with them. Um, first yeah. thing, first thing Yelena does is make mac and cheese and offers it to Kate. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> um, yeah really excited. mac and cheese, black widow. <laughs> <laughs> mac, mac and cheese, uh, black widow. No, there's yeah. a um, for those of you who have no idea what we're making reference to just then. Um, she makes mac and cheese in a Hawkeye, and the thing that Yelena wanted when she was a little girl when they were eating dinner was mac and cheese and i had brought that up to landon before he recorded saying i thought it was an interesting nod and then i could tell he was thinking that you paid way too much attention to that movie he did that movie was, i paid okay. way too much attention to every marvel movie i've seen shang chi six times god i've seen it why i say two or three times i don't remember it is worth it every time it is pretty good i don't know people were saying i saw this one review he said he's like it was okay I like Eternals better. I'm like, shut up. What? <laughs> what no, I don't about? agree. I don't agree with that. Yeah. But um, anyway, back to Hawkeye. Um, episode five goes on. Um, I mean, it's really, it's a really good episode. Uh, I tell you what, this show has made me love Maya L- uh, Echo. Like, she's yeah. it's such an interesting character, and I'm very interested yeah. to see where her show goes. 
I started freaking out first time I saw her because I thought she was gonna be the, like the um, I hate I hate I forgetting her name, but the girl from Falcon Winter Soldier because I did not like. Oh that yeah, girl. like Carly Morgenthau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like I was, I was kind of glad she died. Honestly, mm-hmm. no, 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 not not Echo, not Echo. She did die. Carly, yeah, yeah, Carly. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I was all like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Oh, uh, it wasn't really that sad. They made it out to be sad. I was just like, okay. But but Echo is a way. I was surprised I enjoyed her that much. Yeah, she's very interesting. Um, but uh, continuing on, uh, let's see what happened. Um, Yelena, obviously, it's very focused on Yelena in, this, in the episode five. Uh, yeah. I think it really starts to focus in on Clint and Kate towards the end of it. Like, and yeah, um, we get. <laughs> We get this scene at the end where they're sitting there. Now, we've been thinking Kingpin the whole time. Like, he's behind this. Oh, and, yeah. He, he's somewhere. Um, <laughs> he's yeah. in there. Huh? He's, and we get this scene at the end where Yelena is following um, Eleanor, Kate's mom, and uh, to this fancy-looking building. And then y- Yelena starts texting Kate and says, I found who hired me. Which, real quick, I thought she was hired by Val. At the end of <sighs> Black Widow, which is confusing. Oh, yeah. Which makes yeah, me I think, thought too. Yeah, which makes me think that Eleanor works for Val or something. Or like Val, I don't know. Maybe they're like I don't maybe. Know. It's no, confusing. It's, oh my gosh. I, it's so funny you mentioned that because I didn't even like take that into consideration at all until you just mentioned that. Man, that was the first thing I thought whenever she was like, I found who hired me. And and she said her mom's name. I was like, that's not true. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> just, but just, according to the show, it is. They talk about it in the final episode, too. I wonder, I wonder, is it a hire of a hire of a hire? Could, that's true. That could be true. Eleanor could have hired Val. But <laughs> I don't know. She doesn't seem like she has that much power. But um, <laughs> continuing on, uh, the Kate's getting texted um, and then she gets in a picture and she shows it to Hawkeye and, Hawk, and he, she's like, who is that guy with my mom? And immediately you're like, oh, that's the guy I've been worrying about. And, then, <laughs> and, and he like, says, oh, and that's the guy God. I've been worrying about. And I was like, oh. and then it shows him. He says, Kingpin. And the episode just ends with you're a mean <laughs> no. one, Mr. Grinch, which is like yeah. great. It really reminded me of like Agatha all along from WandaVision. Oh, yeah. It like did that big, yeah. I thought that was great, though. But that was Vincent D'Onofrio from Daredevil as Kingpin. And I've been spoiled on No Way Home. I'm not going to say anything about it. Not until I review. But I do know that um, more stuff ties in from Daredevil. You're right. And we will talk about that when we when I watch the movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was episode five of um, Hawkeye. What do you what do you rate that episode? Oh, that's a um. It was pretty. I mean, I I enjoyed the episode, but seeing that reveal at the end was again. It was it was somewhat magical. It was mm-hmm. cool to see him back. Yeah, and this is good. Up. Now, I didn't have a biggest reaction as so, some people would because I hadn't seen Daredevil. Mm-hmm. So I was I knew of Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin, but I had never seen him. I mean, I've seen like videos and stuff, but that was about it. So, out of ten, it, how would you rate it? Oh, whew. do you think a seven is too low? Um, I mean, no, it, a little bit, but I mean, okay. that's that's up to you though. This is your rating. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. It's like it was meant. Like the opening was cool, and the ending was cool. The middle stuff, I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with the set. I'm gonna go with the seven. I know that seems kind of low. I was gonna go with an eight. But, oh, okay, eight. Okay. Yeah, well, I was gonna well, one. I gotta one up. The show was good though. The show was good. That, yeah. I mean, that episode, well, episode. well, now we got to talk about episode six. Um, oh, yeah, this is this is when though. So episode six. So this is Christmas. Spoilers for the finale of Hawkeye. Immediately yeah. throws you immediately into the kingpin scene. Like I, you didn't yes. give me a chance to breathe. I didn't get to breathe the whole like. It started, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, we're, we're doing this." We're doing, I was like, <laughs> I "Had to go eat under COVID." <laughs> no, no. Oh yeah. 
But yeah, this was the week that I really got hit with COVID. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just like losing it. But maybe, maybe maybe that's what gave me COVID. You were so shocked. Kingpin gave me COVID. <laughs> Kingpin gave me COVID. Hey, he might have because I watched that fifth episode and then the day afterwards I got symptoms. So. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tearing it out. I'm not crossing that. No, me neither. Um, but yeah, immediately, uh, we get a scene between Eleanor and Kingpin. Vincent and is Kingpin too. Um, I want to point out. Did you notice how they filmed the scenes with him? They filmed the camera looking up at him, and everyone else it looked down at them to just to really like show the size of Wilson Fisk. Boy. He's a, there's a big man, ladies oh, yeah. and gentlemen. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a big man. That's but a big man. that whole thing. He had that line where he was like, "I'm going to give you in, in in the spirit of the holidays. I'm going to give you a sec a, t- a moment to rethink your consideration or something like that. I don't know. And <laughs> a moment. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a moment to reconsider what your your offer or something. I can't remember what yeah. he said. That's no moment. He ain't giving you a moment. No, and Man. she tried to, and then she goes and tries to blackmail Wilson Fist. You don't do that. Oh no! <laughs> right you, when she was dead. like, "I've been keeping, dead. I've been keeping a secure file." I'm like, "What is wrong with you?" <laughs> Moron. And then you notice his eye, he was like twitching the whole time. Like, yeah, he was. He was. Uh, he was uh, me in front of Vanessa. <laughs> So. Would embarrass me in front of Vanessa. <laughs> Where's the car door? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my god! I saw a funny meme. It was about um, he, uh, he's like talking to someone in like a car. Mm-hmm. He's, like, he's like, you know what happened last time? I saw someone in a car. It was oh man, I I, I love seeing Fisk again. It was so yeah. Was and crazy. now we have the well, qu- with a question mark. We have Kingpin in the MCU. There's something that happens in this episode that's a little strange, but I'm going to talk about it. Doctor um, Strange? No. <laughs> oh. Uh, Even though this yeah. episode does take place um, before Spider-Man No Way Home, or after Spider-Man No Way Home, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a little thing there. But, I mean, obviously you got Kingpin. This whole episode is great. He wears a Hawaiian shirt at one point, and a lot of people don't like that, but it's ripped straight from one of the Spider-Man comics. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. You know what I heard? I've heard, I heard people... Absolutely hate. They think they uh, the MCs kind of butchered him. No, they didn't. He was stronger in this than he was in Daredevil. Well, Daredevil, he, he had was... the body armor, and this he's got like strong. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He's. I think he's more bigger. You know. You know what I think and would be interesting. Daredevil. Well, if they um, do a little bit of like super soldier serum type stuff, he got maybe he got a dose of that, and that's why he's so str- he wanted to be stronger. I, mean, I, I, I would be. I'd be kind of down for that. I know it's not. I know it's the comic. Like you know, it's no you know, well. This is MCU's the MCU. MCU's changed stuff that's made me way more mad in the in the in the <laughs> comic wise. Like, uh, do we need to talk about? Well, no, they've redeemed it with Mandarin. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> I'm yeah. not even gonna talk about that for a minute. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just love Kingpin this whole episode. He um has that line, by the way, which we did the intro about. And that's why I say, if you know, you know, for the people that watch Hawkeye. Um, he was like, he was like, he was naming off all his problems again. An Avenger is bothering him, and he goes, and the Bishop woman who thinks she can just up and leave like she works for Goldman Sachs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was, I was, I, I, and he did it. I, he, he delivered it like Vincent mm-hmm. D'Onofrio. <laughs> oh, that, that's crazy because I'm because he's crazy. played by Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, that's, the, that's the crazy part about it. I it, it was pretty cool. I know some people. Hey, yeah, they really think that he's like weak in this one compared to Daredevil. He is so much stronger. What are you talking about? Just because well, well, no, 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 they, they, they mean character wise. Like they think he's more of oh, like a wood. No. Then, um, well, he's Vincent D'Onofrio confirmed that um, after the snap, he lost all his power. Kingpin did. So now he's trying to build oh. that back up. Oh, oh, like, oh, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, all his wealth and all that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, this episode was great. Um, yeah. I mean, there's so much. I tell you what, though, one of my favorite scenes in this whole episode is when Clint is like, it's like right at the end of the fight between Clint and Kate, not Kate, sorry, um, Yelena. And, um, he does the whistle that um her Yelena and Natasha did when they were younger 
And that whole scene following that, where he was like, she sacrificed herself, but she cared for you and all this stuff. That was, that got me. I was, I, I teared up a little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. I was like, this, that's when I really was like, I miss Black Widow. Like, <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, I think about the movie. I might not screw yeah. the movie, but yeah. but yeah, I I I've always loved Black Widow. Mm-hmm. I mean, know. she was never one of my favorites, but I mean, oh yeah, never. She was one of the like big ones, you know. Yeah. Um, but I thought that I thought that scene was great. Uh, Florence Pugh, uh, Yelena, what an actor or actress. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Actress. Um, <laughs> don't come at me. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, people will. People will. We're, we so. spend a lot of time, by the way, talking about um, Hawkeye. So we're just get ready to end the review. But uh, yeah. but I mean, there's so much in this episode. Uh, okay, Kazi dies. Um, yeah. I thought I thought his character was really interesting. Like I liked his scenes. It was a good actor. Yeah, I thought. I, I, is it weird? Fluffy. I thought it was more. Yeah. Um, thought, it seems I like okay. Was tell me if you got this from the finale. It feels. It feels like. It got rewritten a lot. Like I, I got the vibe, like there were some like storylines that just kind of ended real quick. Like with Kazi and Maya, like she just kills them like that is over. And I was like, you've been setting this up for like the whole season, ever since the end of yeah. episode two. Yeah. Do you, imagine, were there rumors there was like reshoots or rewrites during the show? I thought I'm there not, was rumors. I'm that, not sure. I, there just seems like there was a lot that is, was missing. I don't know. Um, but anyway, Maya. Uh, goes off on her own. She turns on the where the tracksuit mafia, or whatever. And um, also, props to that one tracksuit mafia guy who finally fixed it with his girlfriend. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so yeah, he glad. Was like, we went summer room five instead. I was like, oh, that's well, not an improvement, oh. but still <laughs> happy for. I don't know. That seems like an improvement. No, well, yeah. I don't know. Uh, but uh, that's for another episode. Extra beef music episode. <laughs> we'll compare yes. Imagine Dragons to Maroon 5. Imagine Dragons episode. Um, but yeah, Maya finally um, leaves all that and she kills Kazi. And um, later on, towards the end of the episode, uh, after Kingpin gets his butt kicked by a 22 year old, um, <laughs> which. I love how she used the cuff link to take him out. That yeah. t- you know that ties back to Daredevil when he all his cuff links or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, Kingpin is walking down the street, and Maya pulls up, and she comes up to him, and he's like, "Maya, you and I were family," and he said, "Family don't always see eye to eye." She pulls a gun on him and shoots him, but we don't see him get shot. We just see hear it and see the flash. <laughs> Which do you think they didn't kill Kingpin? Did they? Obviously not. It is not. If they did though. You know, you're a lot of mad people. But I don't uh, think I'm gonna know. be one of those mad people. I think that he's either gonna be blind, like he was in the comics when she shot him in the Matt Fraction comics. Um, I think it was the Matt Fraction comics, or somewhere around connected to that story. Um, Echo shot Kingpin, and he was blind in both eyes. But then he got reconstructive surgery, and it got his eyes back because that. Oh, so, oh, so 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 it went nowhere. Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's um, but it would be an interesting contrast. You have Daredevil who's blind, and now you got Kingpin who's blind. <laughs> the blind, the blind. No, I think it's more. Um, he's gonna be blind. He's gonna have an eye patch or something. Yeah, I could see him possibly like wearing like an eye patch or something, but I don't yeah. think I don't, they, I don't think that killed him. Yeah, no. Um, I thought that would be. Uh, I thought that was an interesting thing to talk about. And then um, finally, at the end of it, uh, end of the episode, they. Um, Go, they have Christmas finally. He he got to his family's house for Christmas, and Kate Kate's there. The dog is finally named Lucky. Yes, uh, finally. It took so long. <laughs> I, 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 you want to hear something that got me mad? I'm like, just name the dog Lucky. You're like we all know, we all we, know. They didn't know though. Yes, well, no, we um, did. Yeah, that's true. Um. Anyway, he's uh, having at Christmas. Uh, and just Kate to the family, and everything. And um, he gives the watch that we that has like a sort of like small subplot in one of the episodes. I think it's episode four. Um, mm-hmm. The watch that w- got stolen. G- he gives it to um, his wife. And it was his wife's watch. Um, turns out she was a shield agent, which we didn't know. We still could have probably con- inferred that she was. Yeah. But um, she gets the watch on the back of it had a number 19 on it. Are you aware of that 
of what who Agent 19 is. Agent, it sounds familiar. Agent 19 is the Mockingbird. Oh. So his wife, presumably, either they're rewriting Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Because Mockingbird was in that show. Oh. Okay, yes. Okay, so I remember... I remember hearing about this that like, yeah, um, Ant-Man and the Wasp was supposed to have some type of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. character, but it's played by someone else. So it doesn't matter. That's interesting. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, you mean? Yes, yes. Sorry. Uh, what, what I mean. You said just Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's the second one. Oh, yes. That's the second one. Um, but but uh, yeah, she either she passed the mantle down to Bobby Morse, who is um, Mockingbird and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. Or um, they're just like <laughs> completely. This is them saying Agents of Shield is not canon to the MCU anymore. It's it's funny because a show that was not made by them is canon to the MCU. That's, <laughs> what a that, show they made is not. That, canon. That's true. That's oh true. my god! But we'll never know until Feige says it himself. Yeah, and he's on, not. And on. he's not. So like I don't. He never says anything. Every he, time he's he, asked, he, he just confirmed like. Daredevil was canon like right before Kingpin showed yeah. up in the movie. Yeah. In the, um, in the show. Exactly. Um, but yeah, this was a really good episode. And I knew there was a after credit scene. I was like, oh, what's this after credit scene going to be? And it was the full number from Rogers the Musical, which I know Landon enjoyed a lot. I can do this all day. <laughs> well, in all fact, right, well, we I- cannot do this all day, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, I cannot. That well, it was just dis- disappointing. You know, where we can do this all day. What? What? Man, that that one opening was a lot. Then you said we could do this all day. Yeah, that was a lie. You're right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I lied to you, people. Uh, yeah. But yeah, let's get onto the ratings. Um, Hawkeye episode six what, out of ten. Yeah, this is an eight. This is an eight. I think this yeah, is. But- I think this is a nine for me. <laughs> Uh, man, one up in me again. <laughs> I'm not doing that, but okay. But so eight and a nine. What would you rate the show as a whole? This say this is. You said this is your second, right? This is my second favorite show. Like I'm talking about. Like I'm, Wandavision, Hawkeye, people, Loki. You know, people 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 get mad with you if you say uh, hey. Wandavision better. It is like your number one. People, you know, people get. Wandavision is my number one. I love Wandavision. My, my, my friend, my friends are gonna strangle my neck because I said I liked Wandavision more than Loki. Yeah. See, it's um, because it was the first show, and it had like it was the craziest show. Like so much stuff. Well, I think I think that's what people were like. Well, it's the first show, so you think Loki was a no, slow burn. I, I like I like the, I like Wandavision not because it was the first one or it's like someone mm-hmm. nostalgic. I just I like the show. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good show. The first two episodes were a little meh, but the rest of it was great. Like 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 the first six episodes with like the all the TV. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch those on loop. I love them. Those they are very good. I can sit down yeah. and rewatch that show and just yeah. like. Yeah. Um, but anyway, what would you rate Hawkeye as a whole? Like at a ten. Okay, so so number one up top mm-hmm. is one of them. Uh-huh. Two's Loki. Okay. Uh, now we're three just. Is- Let's do just do top five. I think there's only top been five. There's only been five. Yeah. So actually, never mind. Five. So five. <laughs> um, I'd say Hawkeye is my number four. Really? Yeah. I think for me, it's, for me, it's Wandavision. Yeah. Hawkeye. Well, I'm back. I'm. I'm. I'm kind of. I am a bit back and forth. Forth, if I'm gonna be honest, because what if had some episodes I didn't really like. That, yeah, that show is just kind of like bits and pieces of it. Like that but, Doctor Strange episode. Oh, that's a masterpiece. That's a that's great. A that's a ten out of ten. That's what that is. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. Come I don't think on. we ever rated any of those episodes a ten out of ten. We didn't even rate Doctor yeah. Strange. I think we rated Doctor Strange a nine point five or a nine. Yeah. Because we were waiting. <laughs> we weren't even doing comic burrito while uh, fucking we're a soldier and no. um. Mm-mm. We so. we we picked it up right in the middle of Loki, like the um scene where they go to the vo- the the. The void or whatever it's called. That's uh, where we yeah. started. That's the that was the first episode. Okay. Um, so, but but uh, Falcon War Soldier is my fifth. Is is my least favorite. Even though I love that show. Yeah, this lot. doesn't mean that we don't like these shows. It just means yeah. like they're they're all good shows. Well, more. This is more of like a. Re- which one would I like to rewatch more? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get. I I guess that's kind of a better, more nicer way to put it. Yeah. Well, the order for me it goes: uh, One Division, Hawkeye, Loki, um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and What If. 
Boy, it's your least. Wow. Yeah. This piece is so, animated, so, and I'm not a big animated person, but I'm going to oh, have to be. It. I'm going to have to be eventually. You better be. Like, you, you tell me you don't like Spider Verse? I do like Spider Verse. It's just like. Me, but, but, but it's animated, though. Make well, up your mind. That's just. I'm talking about. This is a show, though. I don't watch animated shows. That's why I haven't watched The Clone Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but I don't watch The Clone Wars. Or yeah. whatever the other show is, Rebels or something. Or yeah, Bad Batch. I don't watch that either. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. I get mad. You're telling me that Dark Strange, that Dark Strange episode is like, I mean, that's cinema. That's, that is the art of TV shows right there. It was, That was a very good episode. I agree. But, um, Wait, one, one, one moment, I'm having some technical difficulties over here. Um, you continue talking about your thoughts on Hawkeye. Um, I like I like Hawkeye a lot, so I'm not gonna trash talk it or anything because I, I I might I might rewatch it and just, you know just see the whole Kingpin um, opening again. But uh, the show was all right. I I can't I do cannot I, like I find myself just wanting to rewatch it, like the only like really the last two episodes because of again Kingpin coming in, so. <laughs> that's honestly all I gotta say about it though yeah so, you good now um yeah I'm also dealing with a dog oh gotcha <laughs> I'm making sure I was trying to stall as much as I could I ain't know what to say um but yeah yeah that's that's how I'd rate um mm-hmm. Hawkeye episode 6 yeah. uh I mean, we, by the way, we, 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 me and you both recommend Every show, <laughs> so mm-hmm. I, yeah. I feel bad for Falcon and Winter Soldier fans in there in here, but that's just I don't know, that's just the way I, I see it. I don't really, I thought, I mean, I thought the show was okay, okay. but anyways, <laughs> man, I feel so bad. I trash talk, yeah, but it was good, anyways. It was a good show, um, but okay, let's move on to some news because we're going late here, uh. So I already talked about how we're going to do sp- talk about Spider-Man, hopefully next week, and the Doctor Strange teaser. So that's where that is, if you guys are wondering. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. With the first piece of news. This is kind of small, but it's a new D- another Disney Plus show coming in 2022. Uh, the I Am Groot series being made by James Gunn is set to premiere in 2022. Um. So this is an animated show, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty me, sure it's animated. Let me just, I'm going to look it up. Just be, yes, animated series. Um, let me look at the Wikipedia, see what it's about. Um, it's a series of shorts produced by Marvel Studios with uh, Kirsten Lepore serving as director. I thought uh, you were about to say Kirsten Dunst. I'm like, no. Dude, Mary Jane Nelson is... No. Um, each short follows Baby Groot as he grows up in the galaxy, going on adventures with new and unusual characters that get him into trouble. Um, that's all we know. But that show is um, coming in 2022. Isn't it weird? I'm like, not really excited. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not but I'm going to watch it. Yeah, I mean, I, was, I mean, well, I mean, we're gonna have to. We're gonna, have to. gonna be yeah, reviewing we're gonna a animated to shorts. <laughs> Probably be like, okay, this this episode on uh, I am Groot. Uh, yeah. It's completely pointless and not, it added nothing to the MCU, but it was fun to see I, Baby Groot. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know how we're going to review this show because I don't think we'll it's figure it out. Happen. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be more of a. If we can review a trailer, we can review a <laughs> short. Well, I mean, we could. I mean, we could review a short like a like a TV show or whatever. Yeah. But I'm you know what I'm saying I don't think we should. I don't think we're going to. We'll see. It we'll see. Caliber as a show. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. But I'll tell you one show we are going to review uh, Moon Knight, which is set to premiere on Disney Plus oh. in late March, which is the next show. Oh boy, are we going to review this show? <laughs> oh, yeah. This, this is this one I'm going to kind of go hard on. This, this is going to be a good show. This is going to. Hey, and do you think we might get. Some Daredevil in Moon Knight. I keep hearing. I keep hearing. Because we know that we, we know that it's supposed to be in She Hulk. Mm-hmm. I keep hearing we're gonna get the yellow suit and uh, that and um, probably next time we see Daredevil. Is, oh, is she Hulk? We're gonna see the suit. Yeah, I hear they like they team up a lot in that show. So yeah, I, I read that, that he's got a big role in one of the episodes. 
Yeah. Which I hope so. it's the finale is Matt Murdock versus Jennifer Walters. That that would be cool. Like I I would be really into that if that is really like the biggest Matt Murdock versus Jennifer Walters in like a court case. Yes. I mean that would be really cool. Yeah. But I mean it, it kind of sucks because I don't know who to root for. <laughs> yeah, it's that's true. They're both very good lawyers. <laughs> um but yeah moon Knight, late march um it was rumored to be mid-february but it looks like we're gonna be waiting but we get moon Knight and the batman in march we get the batman at the beginning of march moon Knight into march so that's gonna be a good month next year's gonna be a good year Um, yeah yeah and you know what else marvel studios reportedly has 21 unannounced mcu projects in development like Kevin, hey, I mean that is one of them. They did conf- Kevin Feige confirmed that. Thank you, Kevin. Um, yes, you better be thanking Kevin. Thank him. I get him on the show. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm not gonna thank him like how you thank him. <laughs> you worship. You worship that guy. <laughs> like, you kind of scared we, me there. We we wouldn't have what we have today if it were for John Favreau and well. And Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. <laughs> John Favreau. I'm, well, MCU wise. Um, Sam Raimi. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm, this is going to go on a slippery slope. It's going to eventually lead to No Way Home spoilers. So, we, <laughs> so um, what do you think some of these unannounced MCU projects are? I don't know. I, I, uh, no. well, obviously, some of them are shows. Mm-hmm. Something's got to um, be Avengers. Avengers. Level. I, 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 don't even, I don't even like. Won't even think about Young Avengers. <laughs> Sorry. Not not Young Avengers. Like, it, it can be normal Avengers. Avengers fine. I w- I would like a. I, I think Dan RPK said that it was a Daredevil movie or something in production. He did say something about a Daredevil project. Yes, uh, that has that hasn't been officially announced. No. Um. Nova. I, I think Nova might be getting something. I, I would. I'm. I'm really. I really do hope Nova is getting something. Agatha. Well, Agatha has been announced. Never mind. Yeah, um, it's been announced. That's that's gonna be. I'm I'm kind of I'm really hyped for that. Let me. See, I'm. I don't know. I mean, there's so much it could be. Obviously, they haven't announced a lot. We know a lot of rumors, like the Werewolf by Night Halloween special that's supposed to be coming out. Um, that could be yeah. one of them. That is probably one of them. Werewolf um, by Night. Um, oh, there's so much. It could be Daredevil, like you said. Um, maybe a Deadpool three. Well, that's been Maybe. announced. We already know that's coming. Has that has that really? Well, has it hasn't, it hasn't been officially announced, but Ryan Reynolds has talked about it a lot. So, oh, okay. But they worked. He right. said they're working on it, but it hasn't been announced, so it could be one. Okay. Um. Maybe. Uh, you think Spider-Man Five? Like I know. No. I'm kind of saying that's too. That, that's too far. That's too far. I mean, that, I, I feel like this. We get Spider-Man Four is what they've announced. <laughs> Um, I tell you what, uh, when I think a spinoff of Guardians of the Galaxy, I feel like they're like leading up to something like that. Um, I would like a Ravenger show. I think that'd be kind of cool. That would work because you now, you have like Sylvester Stallone's coming back in the new um, Guardians movie, yeah. and mm-hmm. he was. I feel like they could do a spinoff about his team of people. Yeah. Um, okay. But I mean that's. I can't really think of anything else, but there's 21 unannounced projects. Yeah, I hate I hate I'm kind of not really thinking of anything big right now, but I, I'm you know what I'm saying? I can't really Fantastic Four has been announced, so that wouldn't be one of them. That's been announced. X-Men has not been announced. And they talked about that they are making it they're gonna do X-Men, but they haven't announced an X-Men movie yet. Yeah, nor a character being announced, so mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. It, well, it could be X-Men. But yeah, well, we'll obviously yeah, keep I'm, you hoping, I'm hoping it's 24 X Men movies. I would be <laughs> <laughs> all tw- 21 of these 21 X Men movies. Each one's a solo leading up to the main <laughs> X Men. Dude, I would. You have no idea how hyped I would be. We're gonna get a Mister Sinister movie. <laughs> oh no, I don't want a Mister. <laughs> I love Mister Sinister. Don't get me wrong, but I, I want. I want. Um, I hate it'll be. It. It'll be a musical. Be uh, <laughs> just, um, yeah. Better get the Rogers crew in there. Yeah, I would love that. Um, let's talk. Let's hop over to another cinematic universe real quick. Um, the Sony Spider-Man oh. universe. Certainly, like, no Marvel's universe of Sony. <laughs> you know, of Sony's universe of Marvel. Spider- I don't know what it is. Something what is like it? That. Wait, what is it? Hang on. 
I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Yes. <laughs> doesn't matter. I got to know the name of this. What's yeah, the I know official it, I know it's not name? Good. It is the the SP the SPUMC the Sony Spider Man. Wait, what? No, the Sony Pictures Universe of Marvel characters. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, uh. Morbius comes in January. We're close to Morbius. That's, All right, we're like right not, here at Morbius. Yeah, we have the full runtime for it. Yeah, as well. an hour and forty eight minutes. That's like. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. That's like 18 minutes longer than uh, Venom 2. <laughs> what? I mean, there's so many possibilities of what that eight, 18 minutes could be. I know. <laughs> but like yeah, I was saying, like I was saying, that movie was pre- very short and it packed a lot into a small movie. Um, I hope it doesn't do the yeah. same with this because Morbius looks like a really good movie. And I feel like I think they could do it. I think it'll um, be fine. But I'm just curious to see how it fits into the grander scheme of things. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, I mean, obviously you got Michael Keaton in this movie, possibly playing the Vulture. I'm not sure. We do know that he was filming some Vulture stuff. But... <laughs> I love when he was on that talk show. They're like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I'm filming Vulture stuff." I know. <laughs> he just like says it. But he's Michael Keaton, so he's allowed to do that. He, he's he's allowed to be Batman and Vulture. Yes. <laughs> um, and like I said, I've talked about on the no- Homecoming review. If you want to know our thoughts on that, um, on Michael Keaton's Vulture, you can go listen to our Spider Man Homecoming review on the um, Into the Spider Verse episode. But best character that movie. Uh, he was very, yeah, very, very good. But uh, back to Morbius. He's supposed to be in Morbius, possibly. And I'm not sure. He's. Wait, wait. Hey, hey, Michael Keaton? Yeah. He's in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but I'm like, I'm not sure if he's, if it's Vulture. Oh, you think it's just Michael Keaton? <laughs> yeah, but like it wouldn't make sense for it just to be Michael Keaton. Yeah, I mean it would because he's an actor. <laughs> but yeah, but come on, I tell you, I tell you, no, how are you gonna mind. get how are you gonna get somebody that plays a Spider-Man villain to be in a movie with Spider-Man about a Spider-Man villain, and us for not to make the connection? He's well, got the same haircut. Keaton, what was just Michael Keaton playing as Michael Morris' his like good friend? <laughs> so he's not even related. I would be a little upset. I, I I'm hoping this is Adrian Toomes. I'm sure it is. I can't see a reason why it's not. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, man, I can't say so. <laughs> you can't say anything. And that's the funny part. <laughs> uh, there's like, I will see the movie and then well, we, we can say stuff. <laughs> well, it's like, well, you already know it, but I can't say it on here. Yeah. But, man, I might want to like hint or, oh, I hate you. Watch the dang movie. <laughs> You could have pirated it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did. I'm sorry. I got COVID. Um, Better be. But let's, let's hop universes once again and go back to the Marvel Studios universe. Marvel Studios are officially in final talks with an actor to play the MCU's Ghost Rider. And there are two actors. Um, I know. <laughs> I know who I want. There are two actors who are campaigning to play the MCU's Ghost Rider. Norman Reedus and Diego Luna. And now, Diego Luna... Oh, dude, I thought you were going to say someone else. I thought you were going to say Keanu Reeves. No. He's like, I was like, oh, Diego Luna. No. Diego Luna is the guy. Do you, did you watch uh, Rogue One, a Star Wars story? Uh, No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> well, he played, he played Cassie and Andor in this movie. And here, I'm going to share my screen so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Since you did not see that movie. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not a nerd. You've seen <laughs> this guy. <laughs> He wants to play Ghost Rider. Okay, okay. I know what character you're talking about. I've never seen the movie, but I saw it in the trailer. This guy, this is who played in the movie. Wait. Oh, yeah, so I'm not a nerd, but I'm on a superhero podcast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This is a good movie. I saw it in theaters. Um, I'm gonna I, heard it, I heard it actually was pretty good, so He's I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, Diego Luna is one that wants to play it. I think Norman Reedus would obviously do a great job. He plays Daryl in The Walking Dead, and he's already like Ghost Rider, except he doesn't have a flaming skull or a chain. He's gonna... Maybe maybe if he had one, he could have gotten a role immediately. Yeah, but he could be the one that's in talks. It is not Keanu Reeves. Though Keanu Reeves did come out and say that he has been in talks with Kevin Feige about a potential role, but they haven't found anything for him. I remember I was kind of uh, I kind of wanted possibly him to do Midnight for a while. Yeah. But I'm, Oscar Isaac though is a very good actor. Uh, I, I'm hyped. I'm hyped to see him. I was. I love doing him in a 
Spider Verse for that one minute. Yeah. So. yeah, but he was all. He's also been in like he was in Dune, the new Dune movie, which I heard was uh, all right. And I, uh, I, I heard it was pretty good. But I never. I yeah, know. I heard it was really boring. Nobody it's goes fun. to the movie theaters to watch. No, <laughs> we watch HBO Max. We we go we go to the movie theaters to watch superhero movies now. Exactly. Um, I'm not happy. <laughs> speaking of, we could be introduced to Ghost Rider in Multiverse of Madness, possibly. Yeah, I doubt, that's, I, kind of, I, that's kind of what got the talks. I would say, yeah. kind of go for it. But speaking of Multiverse of Madness, and it's the final piece of news for Marvel. Um, this is very heavily rumored, and these this is the rumor that these two characters were added during the reshoots. Mister Fantastic and Black Bolt are apparently going to be introduced in Multiverse of Madness as members of the Illuminati. Ooh! Oh, they're going to do oh crap! They're going to bring a freaking Illuminati into this. That's now? the big rumor. What dude? Sam Raimi is the blueprint. Hey, and th- <laughs> think of all of the. Like rumored characters we've had so far, every one of them are members of the Illuminati. Okay, besides Black Panther, you might. Oh, I hate you don't have the Echo thing no more because you know who else is rumored to be in Multiverse of Madness? Hulk dogs. <laughs> well, not well, not Hulk dogs, but um, uh, Eric Hulk Banner. Dog. Oh God, Eric Banner. It's supposed to be. Well, uh, I am not going to as see. Bruce Banner. I'm well, not going to see him. He's gonna be there as Bruce Banner, but not as Hulk. See, I and said, I said and everyone was mad, but I think it's because of Ang Lee was like the facial design for Hulk in that movie. Yeah. Who well, and so if they did that, they would have to pay him as well. That's true. I sent you um earlier a thing saying with Chris Evans is in the movie and he walks oh. out through a portal and everyone's like, Oh, it's Cap. And then he goes flame on and he like burns his the like outfit he's wearing and you see the Fantastic Four thing. Oh, Man, that would be cool. Bring in the Fantastic Four. I mean, if they're doing Mr. Fantastic, I well, mean, come I keep on. Hearing, well, I heard they're going, they're doing Mr. Fantastic from the from the Fox movies and not like the one from. What if he? What if he's the one who plays him? Uh the guy, like the guy from the Fox movies. Yeah, who plays Mr. Fantastic? I, I, I forget his name. Um, uh, Mr. Fantastic. I I I really I kind of hope Glenn Howerton is playing. Um, Who is this? fantastic? Because I'm really into that rumor. Oh, I really like that's that. true. Um, we talked about that. Um, that was one of the last things we talked about on the podcast before COVID hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, and you didn't see Spider Man. What is this guy's? Name, hold on. I'm trying to figure out who plays him in the Fox. Just look at Fantastic Four Rise of Silver Surfer and look at. Mr. I'm Brandon. trying. I'm trying. Weasel, Fantastic Mr. Fox this is not what I looked up. Willem, oh, Defoe, exactly. Willem Dafoe plays in that movie though, and Owen Wilson. So, um, I do like that's a good movie. By the way, you ever seen that movie? I've not seen the movie. Fanta- you've never seen Fantastic Mr. Fox? No. Pretty good. Um. Okay. That's I'm not gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this guy's name. I'm gonna butcher this guy's name. Uh. E- oh no. <laughs> No, you can't pronounce oh, it. How do I pronounce this? <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm saying this wrong. Lone Grafud. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm gonna share my up. screen so you can see I, this. I'm not even gonna look it up myself to see if it. I didn't even know this was this guy's name. This looks Lone like a fake name. I'm sorry. Why well, you gotta have the fake? Why well, you gotta have a fake name, Mister Fantastic? I know, but that could be his playing, Mister Fantastic. You never know. Oh, that was a rabbit hole I didn't want to go down. Yeah. But that was the end of the Marvel news. Yeah. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm surprised we have this much compared. I mean, you know. Well, hey, every uh, the page I use and like research and stuff, it was all Spider Man. It was just Spider Man, Spider Man. There's like 50 oh, yeah. posts in between each one of oh, these yeah. pieces of news. Well, I was I like, mean, good Lord. I was like, please <laughs> just let I mean, me get. I just you, need you, the be, news. you better watch this movie because there's like so many things I want to say. I want to watch. I'm gonna say right now. Next week, I think spoilers are off the table. Like you know, just we can just kind of just say whatever. Spoilers next were week. off the table the day it came out. Everyone was posting stuff. So. Oh yeah, I know. But it was all. I know some guy on Twitter was all like, "We need to find a day to uh, really talk about spoilers." I'm like, dude, everybody's talking about. Them. <laughs> yeah, we've been talking about them. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but yeah, you ready to move on to some DC? Because the first thing we have to talk about is a little trailer that came out, which I heard was a mistake. 
I heard it wasn't actually supposed to drop, but it dropped. And dang, it's good. <laughs> yeah, because they had like an official thing. I was like, what's with the, you know, eh, man, it, I don't know what it is, but those trailers get better and better. This yep. trailer was the best trailer. Um, we It's called The Bat and the Cat. The and Bat and the Cat. Uh, what a weird, what a weird name for a trailer. I'm surprised they didn't just call it like. It, I thought it was a TV spot when I first saw it, and I was like two minutes and thirty nine seconds. I was like, <laughs> I mean, if it is, that's the best TV spot in the world. Hey, I I clicked on it, um, and just I was blown away by this trailer. You start yeah. off with um, some new scenes from that car chase, um, which with the penguin. Um, and this, there's an awesome shot where he like it shows the back of the Batmobile and he slides sideways and the car is just like flipping. Oh, oh yeah. man, man, oh, yeah. Matt Reeves, man, I'm telling you, well, what a genius! Well, like, I, I'm and, well, and we're getting a trilogy, hot. we're getting a trilogy. Uh, man, I'm hot. <laughs> it's, I, hate, I hate it. I'm hoping they sign on like a new deal because I want to see everyone. I want to see I every, want, I'm, I want to see I his take on all of these. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like I would like if, if I I like to see a Matt Hatter. Oh, that'd be cool. that'd be good. That was the that, he was one that was rumored for this movie being played by Barry Cogan um, from mm-hmm. Eternals, which you don't like. Uh, yep. <laughs> you don't like the movie oh, yeah, or the actor? That, yeah. Well, I rather him play Matt Hatter than name Joker. That's for dang <laughs> sure. That's true. That was the big rumor. I but, hate. Uh, I, I, I like that. Um, I want to talk about. How I was a little on the fence with this Riddler. Like I heard the Riddler was going to be the villain. I was like, "Oh, that's my favorite villain." I swear, ever. you are a Riddler fan. Boy. I oh hey, that is like he's great. That's my favorite Batman. Oh, yeah, villain. Riddler, is great. Riddler, Riddler is good. And um, when I heard he was going to be the villain in this, I was like, "Oh, it's great." I wonder who they're going to cast. Paul Dano. Um, I was like, "Don't know who that is." <laughs> I know. I saw his face. I'm like, "Dude, this Riddler is going to be a, a chump." <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, "I don't know who this is." I watched a um, video. I watched a video from one of his movies, and yeah. uh, he's he's a really good actor. It's very yeah. very good. I've and, never seen a movie he's in though. Or before I need to, I want to see one before the movie comes out. Yeah, I, I, but um, I mean, from what I've seen from the little clips, he looks like he's gonna kill it. Yeah, he um, it's a grown on me. The design, I'm still on the fence with it, but I think it look he looks like a serial killer. And he had that line right. in this new trailer. He was like. I just want to expose the um, corruption in the cesspool of a city or something like that. Yeah. I, I think that rumor is true of of the Wayne. The reason why Riddler is doing all this is that Thomas and Martha Wayne were like not really good people, very corrupt people. Well, they said that they were, um, they did a lot of, they had that woman talking to Bruce or whatever in the trailer. And um, she was like, your parents did philanthropy, but you haven't done anything. It's like, what have you done for this city? You should be doing more. And it just showed them beating the crap out of people. <laughs> yeah. Like, if I, only like, you knew. Because um, they mentioned, because then like, there's like this whole scene of uh, Bruce. He's talking to Alfred and he's all like, he's like, why didn't you tell me? Or something like that. Yeah. He was like, why didn't you tell you've lied to me my whole life, Alfred? And he looked all upset. Yeah. Andy Circus's yeah. Alfred is going to be a treat. I'm really, like, give him give him a little mustache. No, no, no he just keep the beard. Hey, he's gonna he's gonna mm-hmm. kill it. He's gonna kill yeah. it. And this whole movie's gonna be great. Like, <laughs> yeah, so like really, I'll be surprised if this movie just sucks. Oh, I, I mean, at least, at least I, give the marketing team a raise because I mean they, I mean they got us there to see it. This movie's gonna be <laughs> this know? movie's gonna be very good though. I mean, to that whole ending of the trailer when it showed Bruce like beating the crap out of people, or like I saw Batman oh, yeah. beating the crap. Oh, yeah, tell, me, tell me that did not remind you of like the Arkham games. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be honest, it, it didn't. It did. But, it, it reminded me it, of the Arkham games. But, but to be honest, those I mean, Arkham games are Batman, and this is Batman. You know, like I can't. I mean, yeah. The only good, so, fi- like, okay, this is the thing with Batman movies. We've had the we've had Batman being a detective, and he's got his gadget and stuff. The one thing is, all of these movies have lacked was really good. Fight scenes. Really, you think, I, I, I would was, say I would say it's it. opposite. Where I, I'd say the only one that got really good with detective work, but not the fight scenes, was the uh, was the Nolan trilogy. Well, I mean that's 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 where it got really good. I think the best fight scene Batman's ever been in, where it's like actually a Batman fight. It feels like was the warehouse scene, Batman versus Superman. 
Yeah. That and I feel like now I feel like this movie is gonna like just completely blow all of that out of the water. Mm-hmm. Like this guy like- gets shot point blank right in front of him, like and just looks at the guy and punches him in the face. Yeah, oh yeah, and tases his neck. Yeah. I mean he's that guy's dead. Yeah, this movie is gonna be really good. But I want to get back like, to what we were saying, um, though, about the Riddler and stuff. Um, and like the villains. We got Penguin in this, obviously a huge redesign from what the penguin normally looks like. Yeah, I think he's gonna look more penguin esque at the end. Like like he might get like a monocle or something at the end. Like maybe Batman punches him in his eye. That'd be interesting. Um but we do know that Penguin and Riddler and Catwoman are they're the three in this movie that we know of, but there is possibly more. And I did re- hear that um, the screenings that they were doing of the movie, that there was a character in one screening that wasn't in another one, and they were testing both of them. And apparently it's a big character, and I don't know who it is. Big character. Hmm. Joker. Okay. <laughs> No, I don't think they I do. Uh, I think they tease a Joker in an after credit scene and then have him be the big villain in the third movie. I yeah, like, that, that, yeah, Joker needs to be like a really big villain. Yeah, I think the third movie, uh, no, the second movie, sorry. I think I think Mr. Freeze would do good as a villain in that. <laughs> I'll be honest. If there's one villain I want to see more than anyone else, I want to see Mr. Freeze. I think, yeah, way better than bring in Arnold Schwarzenegger as like a cameo to... No, no. Yes, as a cameo, no. not like. Do you want? Do you want Jim Carrey to make a cameo in this one? Yes, <laughs> I do too. <laughs> but oh, Arnold, no, I that wouldn't happen. That. Universe is too dark. Um, but yeah, this trailer was really good, and I mean, I was going to see a movie anyway, but I'm going to see a movie. In, <laughs> I will be more it. excited. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this movie. I don't know what I don't know what they do with that marketing team, but man, give them a raise because mm-hmm. oh. they they like the coolest posters. Like, yeah, man. the line in the trailer, I loved it with Bruce. Or I keep I call him Bruce, but I mean, he was dressed as Batman when he did. Um, he was like, "You got a lot of cats." <laughs> and she was oh. like, "I got a thing about strays," but I just love the way he said, "You got a lot of cats." <laughs> I, I love. I mean, Robert Pattinson again. Robert Pattinson. He's going to be good. People doubt him. He is going to. I don't think everybody's doubting. Him. My mom Dude. is doubting him. <laughs> really? Yeah, she hates. She thinks Robert. She's, she's like it's Edward from Twilight. I'm like he's yeah. Batman now. <laughs> Tell your mom to rethink. <laughs> he's been in other movies. <laughs> Tell your mom that she's a nice person, but she is. She is wrong on that. <laughs> That. Like that is not. Oh my gosh! Like I don't even see that at all. Like first time I heard, first time I heard about it, I thought of. I mean, um, when I think of Robert Pattinson, now I think of Batman. But originally, I thought of Edward from Twilight. Like, well, I, honestly, Vampire, but obviously everyone did. But when I heard like the the idea of Robert Pattinson, about, have you ever seen the show uh, The Batman? Um, the animated like, show. It, yeah, it was like an I've seen I've seen bits and pieces of it. It kind yeah. of th- I don't I don't really like it though. Like that kind of like design, it was like the first thing that came into my head. That's and, interesting. That'd be interesting. And, and but man, it is like it, it's crazy because this comes out what more? I hate this comes out in March. This comes out March fourth. Oh, I hate. That it. is exactly I, one month before my birthday. I, I mean, I guess I guess it's I guess it's somewhat. I mean, it's right around the corner. I'm I'm upset because I want to see it now. <laughs> I, I, I want to see uh, it now. Yeah, I like, dude, I, I've waited too long. <laughs> I've waited way too long for this I, movie. I agree. Um, because uh, do you think we think it's gonna do better? Doctor Strange or this? <sighs> That's the two hottest movies well, you coming can't, out. You can't really compare the Batman to a Marvel movie. I mean, this Marvel is like already a titan in the movie industry. They'll make a billion. They made Spider Man made a billion in his first like few days. Yeah, the Batman is could make a billion. I would I would not be surprised if it or at least close to a billion. I think eight hundred million sounds like a, what the Batman would make. Eight hundred million? You yeah, know? yeah. I feel I like eight hundred million. I'm like, holy crap! <laughs> no, no movie right, in history of movies the has ever made that. <laughs> um, that, would be, that would be a hard record to beat. That's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, that is a lot. <laughs> I, um, I I'm really excited. Do you think tickets are gonna be hard to get like no way home or no? Mm, I don't I don't think it'll be that hard to get. You don't think it'll be that hard? No. I'm 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 counting on it. Um I mean, yeah, that's all I gotta really say about the 
Um, trailer for the Batman. Uh, I mean, you got any complaints about it? You got no, I mean, no, I, mean, I, I like sorry, everything I saw. Sorry, I like, I like talking about the Batman. I, I, I apologize. <laughs> I love, I love talking oh, about that movie. Have, okay, having some more technical difficulties. Be right back. Oh, oh I continue, do want to point out that. Continue talking about the Batman. I do want to point out that the Batman does come to uh, HBO Max on April. I think like April 4th, like a month, or, or late, 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 like middle or late April. April, something like that. Yeah, so I mean, you know, we don't have we don't have too far to look when that movie comes out. Comes out. Comes out. Um, I saw a um, Darren. I don't know if you still hear me or not, but I saw a post on IG, and everybody was saying their most anticipated film was um, was like, what was it? it was like mm-hmm. not the Batman. Yeah. I mean, it, it was like well, con- like Black Panther two was like everybody's most anticipated film. Um, that, oh, Black Panther that, two? Yeah, you're talking about the I- okay. Sorry, I came in in the middle of this conversation. You're talking about the IGN thing? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I got to talk about Black Panther two, and I wanted to. I didn't want to do it on this episode, but I feel like that. I think that movie is gonna suck. I'm gonna be honest. I do. I do. They're, <laughs> they're trying to okay. They're trying to I'm honor. Chad- they're trying to honor Chadwick. And I, I really hope they do, but there's just so much that's happening with this movie. I, I, I feel like I feel like that's that's all the movie is. It's just a big <sighs> man. There's something I want to say, but like I, I feel like people are going to get really mad at me. If I yeah, this. We'll, we'll save this for another time. That's why I said it. <laughs> yeah, like I, I'm I'm not really it's, excited. It's I, in, I think, it, okay, let's just talk about it another time. We're we're, yeah. in D, we're in DC right now. Yeah. We don't have time to veer off the path. All right, but that was the that was all I got to say about the Batman. Yeah, um, um, I for the Batman. <laughs> yeah, I uh, got some more stuff. I got some stuff that we don't really talk about, but it might be something worth talking about. Um, so CW, we know that their shows are a little, and their newer shows are good, but so they, they all suck. They're all, they're no, all Superman and Lois is all, very good. Star Girl, okay. all, uh, both seasons are out on HBO Max now. People need to check it out. Understand what I'm coming from. I, I, you're right. I can't really say nothing because I, I, I still well, haven't. Seen, I can call well, myself like a big Superman fan, but man, I still haven't seen. It that. looks like modern game consoles aren't the only ones who get to join in the fun with Gotham City's newest ragtag team of heroes. The upcoming Gotham Knights video game has inspired some interest in the property. As a similarly themed project is now headed to the small screen as well, they are making a Gotham Knights TV show on the CW. That's gonna suck. It is being what? Well, listen now. It's featuring a number of familiar names behind the scenes. Not only will this add yet another show to the network's already robust lineup, it will include several writers from the arguably super underrated Batwoman series, which which but this will be a completely standalone project in its own universe. Um, but the report. Gotham Knights will follow Bruce Wayne's rebellious adopted son in the time just after Bruce himself has been murdered. But unlike the Bat, unlike the Bat family of heroes in the game, including Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, and the Red Hood, the CW's take on the story will feature the younger Wayne teaming up with the children of Batman's classic villains. They have all been framed as accomplices in Bruce's murder, and as the newfound band of misfits fight to clear their names, they slowly become a new symbol of hope for Gotham City. Okay, so are we, are they getting like the cast of Titans in there? Like, what's what's going on? Um, unknown. Unknown. Okay. Uh, but we are getting this show. Sounds like it may have a little bit of potential. I'm all for the children of like the villains. Like, I'll take like the Riddler's daughter, the Joker's daughter, or something. The Joker's I, daughter sounds like they would do that because she's already a that thing. that that is a thing. I, I've never been a fan of that. I always thought I was the Joker's daughter. Oh uh, yeah, I always. I mean, again, I, maybe maybe there's a cool character, but I've never liked the idea of that. Yeah, to, to me, she's it's always she, well. She's not really Joker's daughter. She's um, I think she's Harvey Dent's daughter. Oh, okay. her name is Dula Dent. So I mean. Maybe, but Maybe. Anyway, I, this show is. I'm not too familiar, but yeah, I'm this just, show is um, coming to CW, like I said, um, mm-hmm. and 
I mean, it's got it's got. I have some potential. I think we'll we might watch the first episode, and see what we think about it. Um, mm. If it's something that I want to review on the show, but yeah, but Gotham Knights is coming. Very very interesting. I, I don't know if it's Damian Wayne it'll focus on. This is the adopted son, so um, I don't know if it'll be Damian. Oh my. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. If it's adopted, the name here is not part of it. I mean, unless I they change it, this is they can, they can do that. They can change it if they want. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, they can, can't they? Yes. Yeah, but uh, very interesting to see. I'm I'm very interested in that. I'm, I'm interested in anything Batman like TV show related. We don't get Batman TV shows that much. Yeah, last, the last last one we got was, was last, Batwoman. Last good one. Last good one. Gotham. Last. Got- yeah, I guess I'm that's close enough. That was, hey, I mean, never know. Nothing was good. Nothing was good. Uh, but let's go on to some movie stuff now. Did you see the good news? Was what? Which one? That Michael Keaton was officially confirmed to be the Batman in Batgirl. Oh yeah, so it is the best Batman. <laughs> it is the best Batman. It is uh, the best Batman. <laughs> but um, so I guess- the leak it, it got leaked, and then the actor that's playing Batgirl tweeted, I guess, the bat side of the bag. I was like, You're not supposed to confirm that, <laughs> yeah. You're not supposed to reconfirm it, <laughs> but um, thank you. <laughs> I, guess the bat, you so I guess the bat is out of the bag, and Michael Keaton is repri- so. I guess he's sticking around after Flash, then, yeah. Um, question here. Your question is being ignored. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Is are they going to like? I don't know. Their mom. <laughs> I was. Are know. they? Going hey, to, got Firefly. Uh, Firefly also in this movie, played by Brendan Fraser. I'm excited. To, I'm excited to see how they do that with Brendan Fraser. I think, hey, I think and Michael Keaton's right. going to be fighting him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, he's too. Old. Yeah, does this take, take? Does this take place in the Keaton's world? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We got J.K. Simmons as Commissioner Gordon. Um, hey, what the heck? Yeah, like we don't know. We don't know. But where does this take place? <laughs> I guess we'll maybe. find out. Maybe we'll find out in the Flash. What if he gets trans? What happens? Transports okay. well, to another universe. I don't know. What's better? What's better, Flash or No Way Home? <sighs> Even though, yeah, hey, better. that's that we haven't seen. <laughs> we haven't seen. I haven't seen either of them, and one of them is not even out yet. <laughs> I, I'll be honest. I think No Way Home is going to be better because everybody's kind of asking the question right now. I just want to hear what What do you no, think? Just, I think No Way Home will be better, but I think Flash will be one of the best DC movies that we get. Besides the Suicide Squad, which is on HBO Max now for free for everybody. I rewatched it. Still love that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and speaking yeah, of kind of suck. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Speak, wanna, speaking sorry, of James Gunn created DC projects, um, the last piece of DC news that I have is a thing that James Gunn came out and said that every episode of Peacemaker season one is going to have a post credit scene. Yeah, it's all it's all coming out the same day. All episodes are out the same day. So no, it's, it's not all dropping. It's dropping at once every week. Weekly. Oh, that's going to suck. Yeah. Um, but Peacemaker season one comes out January 13th. 13 more days. That's about two weeks that's from now. Th- two weeks. There's no hero called Peacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> you saw right, that. You that. saw that clip. I mean, I he was clip. like, "You think it's a hero? He's like Aquaman." He was like, "Screw Aquaman!" <laughs> yeah, screw Aquaman. No, nah, screw Aquaman. Aquaman's pretty cool. I, I, I mean, I, Jason Momoa. He did good. Well, I don't like Amber Heard. <laughs> but well, I I, I, hey, I despise Amber Heard. <laughs> I know. Considering you are Johnny Depp, after all. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to call you. I used to think you were Johnny Depp for the longest time. Um, I just thought you looked just like him, but anyways. I do not look like Johnny Depp, ladies and gentlemen. You look just like that. Tell me you don't look like Jack Sparrow. Tell I me do, you don't I do look. not look like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I may act like Jack Sparrow, but I do not look like love, Jack Sparrow. I, I love your cologne, by the way. <laughs> okay, well, that was the end of the DC news, and that's all I have for oh, yeah, everything. Oh, cool. Well, I do want to point out the news that they did announce Blue Beetle, the, the movie, is yes. now going to be in theaters and not an HBO Max exclusive. That is very good. Will it release on HBO Max at the same time though? I don't know about that. I just know I think it's gonna do I think it's gonna be like the Batman where it comes out on um theaters and then it'll do HBO Max. So that um, means possibly a higher budget. Hey, yeah. Uh, I, mean, I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be the same budget, but I'm I'm assuming. 
Just the same. Um, oh, this is new. New photos reveal more evidence that Gal Gadot will be returning as Wonder Woman in the Flash movie. Oh, really? Oh, I thought she wouldn't come back. <laughs> That's something new. I know, if they, I know if they got rid of Gal Gadot, people would lose their minds. I would too. Yeah. Robert Pattinson's DC debut in the Batman is the most anticipated new performance of 2022, according to Fandango. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me Black Panther 2 is the most anticipated superhero movie. I don't, I don't believe that for one minute. No, I feel like Doctor Strange. I mean, what about Doctor Strange? I, I say I would say Batman more than Doctor Strange, honestly. I mean, I'd say Doctor Strange is either a close is like a close second. Um, I don't think I'm, and I'm, I am, a, and I'm a Sam Raimi fanboy all the way. So <laughs> saying hearing that from me is like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'm looking at an article about Peacemaker real quick, just to see. Um, they said when Peacemaker, when asked if Peacemaker will feature any post credit scenes, Gunn revealed every episode will as a way will have a way to give viewers a little something special for sticking around through the credits. Weasel in every in credit scene. <sighs> no. Yes. Well, you do know he did confirm that TDK is still alive, so he could show yeah, up. I, yeah, you think that, like the last episode that interesting will show then what's what the next show is? It shows two arms. <laughs> Just floating across. There's two arms on the ground. Like so two arms on the beach and he and somebody picks him up and it's a detachable kid. And he starts like beating <laughs> now we don't know yeah, if it's I, getting a season two or not, but um it's rumored that it is. Peacemaker. Well, I guess I guess the answer will be for us once we see how it ends. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the villain of the show seems to be someone called the Judo Master. The Judo Master, and obviously you got Vigilante in the show too, which is going to be fun. Yeah, I was about to say, who's that partner he has with him? That's yeah. Vigilante. Yeah, I'm happy to see him. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's all the DC news. Not really much in gaming, oh, I, from what I've understand, other than some Avengers stuff. You know what I'm really excited about? <laughs> or you know what this kind of, kind of reminds me of currently? What's that? Uh, it kind of reminds me of a tick. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what? I completely forgot that show existed, but you're right. Yeah. It, like, I don't know why. Like, this like this is kind of like... This gives me like some tick vibes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, so I'm, I'm excited to see, see, see if it is very similar like it. Because Vigilante reminds me of Moth. Uh, and Peacemaker is like the thing or yeah. the tick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, but yeah, you want to move on to games now? Yeah. But real quick before we move on to games, I wanted to um, do a little announcement. This might be the first time you're hearing of this, but for sure. Um, I am in the midst of setting up a Patreon for us. Uh-oh. The first I've heard of this. Yeah, um, I've always brought it up to you before, but I am in the midst of setting up some stuff and... Um, more information will follow in the future. Uh, $20 for Landon to give you a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. go. There you go. I mean, no, we can't, do life, that. Uh, can't do that. COVID. Uh, uh, yeah, but $20. Maybe some shirts. Can I get a comic book burrito, well. comic book burrito <laughs> t-shirt? We'll have Ooh. underwear. <laughs> underwear? Yo, have my <laughs> face on your booty? Come on now. <laughs> we all need that. But it's, uh, it's in the works. And I'll let you guys know. Swimwear? Mm. <laughs> Our own lawn, lingerie. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yo, <laughs> yo, please. Oh, what have I done? Our what own scented hand sanitizer. <laughs> scented <laughs> candles. <laughs> yeah, boom. Like, come on, burrito scented candles. No, we'll be sellouts. No. We'll be such we're, sellouts. We're not, we're not, dude, I don't care. I'm, <laughs> I'm making funny. that joke. <laughs> I, that's funny. <laughs> oh my god! You put the lines right. Here. Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, but gaming. Uh, that's a bright idea, though. You go to oh, I'll, I'll, I'll write that down. Talk about gaming. Yes. Talk about games. Talk. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I forgot. I leave this. <laughs> this. Um. Uh, nothing really crazy because uh, <laughs> obviously Marvel Avengers, their dev team went on vacation, so they did nothing but just updates. Yeah. On the game, you know, kind of bug fixes, which you know. Thank God. <laughs> they post. They they posted. They've been posting stuff about all their stuff that they put out this year. And today they were like, in our final post, we'd like to do. I was like, we'd like to what? Were you revealing something? And they're like, we'd like to thank all of you for. Like, no. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> you thank us so thank by you, giving us no. a roadmap. Yeah. Well, I I guess I think they've confirmed it a while back that will be next year. 
<laughs> so, uh, but we did get a little leak from uh, what Marvel's Avengers. What went? Well, uh, just recent. It was like this week. I forget the day. Hey, here. Let me go on Miller. This this comes from Miller. Okay. And um, and he he came out with a tweet saying, "I'm gonna butcher this name." So we both butchered names today. Crazy. Bejos will be playing Jennifer Walters, aka She Hulk, when she appears in Marvel's Avengers. Oh, and, wait, 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 wait. How do you spell her name? I'm gonna look her up. Uh Krizia Bejos. How do, you, how do you spell it? Oh, sorry. K R Okay. K R I Z I A. Okay. Krizia Bajos. Bajos. Okay. Let oh, me yeah. Let me, like let me see what she's been doing. Uh oh. I know I think she's gonna be in a game today to come out. Uh, she's nothing for Halo Infinite. She's been in um, that movie Spies in Disguise that came out, anime movie. Um, okay. She's been in NCIS Los Angeles, and that's pretty much all the important stuff. I like the big stuff. But what what what, what about game video game was? Um, um, Arcane League of Legends. Video game credit. I think she's about to be in a game game to come out soon. She was in Psychonauts Two, Last of Us Part Two. Oh, she was in last. Um, she was in Batman and the Telltale series. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, Far Cry Six. She Renee does a, Montoya. Oh, really? She does a lot yeah. of like side characters and a lot of like. She did voice a character in Halo Infinite. Those are and Far Cry Six. Those are the newest I'm ones. Tr- <laughs> I'm trying to think. Cause I thought I thought there was like a big game they announced that she was going to be in. Uh, Halo. Halo? Maybe, Batman. I mean, the Telltale series is the one that we're. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. I don't, look I don't know if it's showing games that are already out. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I think there was like an up, a game upcoming that she was gonna be. In. I think I want to say it was Gotham Knights, but I'm not sure. Uh. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, um. Anyways, uh, what was I gonna say? But yeah, she. Yeah. So uh, she's she, vo- you know, she's voicing um, Renee Montoya in Gotham Knights. Yeah. Oh, okay. I must be it, man. Man. So, anyways, so, anyways, so he tweeted that out, and then she quote retweeted it, and it she like green heart. She did like a green heart. So that's pretty much confirmation. Yeah. Shin, Shin, she is going to do it. So, so I guess it'll be your first hero next year. Yes, I'm guessing. Uh, if we're going by that, then yes. I think that was the rumor too. It was her, and then Winter Soldier, and then. Um, Kept, Captain Marvel. Uh, well, I heard Captain. Well, I'm kind of hoping they do four this upcoming year because I did, keep hearing. I don't know. They did three. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it's going to count no, Spider Man. No, they did two. No, 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 they did do three with Spider Man. <laughs> okay, so this is this is what I think. I think, I think it's going to be Sea Hulk, mm-hmm. Winter Soldier, War Machine, mm-hmm. then Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's gonna be like the last one. Yeah, I think Captain Marvel think will be the last one as well. I hate it because me and my friend we were playing last night, and me and him were so mad that Falcon is nowhere to be seen. We were so yeah, but you know, if they do Winter Soldier, they can open it up for Falcon. They could introduce Falcon, and not as a playable character though. He could just be like a side character, and then become oh, a playable no, character. I, man, I just gonna be making me mad if I see him. I want Vision. I want dang Vision, but I'm. But they did set up Ultron in uh, Scientist Supreme thing, so possibly. So, so you know, I'm, I'm guessing Ultron is all, top all I can tell you vision. is that I am ready for more story from Avengers. I know that's. I think they. I think that's like the best part of that game is because I usually like when they do a story thing because I I like the War for Wakanda mm-hmm. for War for Wakanda. Yeah, uh, man, and you know. And uh, me and you need to get on there and do the raid. I've tried to do it so many mm-hmm. times. Man, well, let me tell you, I'm only power level like 139. Golly, you got to be 150. My, how do I? I need my cap. My cap has to get up. I haven't played. I've had COVID. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sit at home and play games. <laughs> no, I, did, I didn't even want to play games. I haven't played. The first time I played a game was like a couple days ago, like a week and a half. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. But um, yeah, that's really all for Avengers. They had they released a new Black Widow skin from Marvel from Avengers. Nope. <laughs> was it not Avengers. Which one was it? It was the Black Widow movie. 
No, it was it really? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna kill you. If it was. It was the Black Widow movie. You talking about the new, like the newest one that just revealed? The like, newest one, yeah. Yeah, the Black Widow. Movie. It was the Black Widow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap your neck. It is. <laughs> it is there. No, so it did. They did reveal Sorry. release an Infinity War Black Widow outfit, but that was a few weeks back. We, we, I think okay. we talked about that. But the Hawkeye too um, outfit. Yeah, well, that's all, that's honestly all the news. I haven't seen nothing much more with Gotham Knights or uh, you know the bad looking Suicide Squad game. I think it's gonna be great. He's gonna he's gonna love that game. I know. Well, I'll, 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 I'll be, bet I'll money be on. I'll bet money on it. <laughs> if you're gonna love that game, we can, we can bet money on it. I'll buy you the game. I'm just kidding. No, um, <laughs> I mean, please. I would love. No, it. that game's gonna be great. Um, we're gonna co-op it. We're gonna stream it. I don't know about that gaming stream, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to have in like 20th of December. <laughs> yeah, Very, uh, but then COVID, and then now that's my excuse for everything. Even though that was the excuse. I know. Um, I know. But we, I'll, we'll figure it out because I do want to do that. Um, that's all. I, I mean, I can't think of anything for games. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can't think of anything either. Um, I, I mean, I do want to give a little announcement for. Uh, Obviously, about this podcast here. Here, um, I can't really think of anything else for game wise. Mm-hmm. As, um, yeah, no, I. Yeah, you know something I would like to be something I would like to see in production sometime soon, though. Another superhero view. How, how about this? This is going to start the new year. What's a game announcement that you want to see, or or something? What's an update on a game or a game announcement you would like I mean, to see? I mean, come on. You know what I'm going to say. Marvel, Marvel Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2. Yes. <laughs> Marvel Spider- no, no, dude. I'm looking at that Wolverine. That's well, 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 okay, okay, you're right. But I don't think we're going to get anything from Wolverine for a while until at least when Spider-Man gets revealed. Because, I mean, they're working yeah, I, on it, but we've got more for Spider-Man than we have for Wolverine. Yeah, I, well, I would say expect a trailer near the end of the year. Because that comes out, I comes out twenty. Near the end of the year. It is the end of the year. <laughs> well, I mean, well, end of Today is the end of the year. This is the last time we will do this show right until next year. Uh, okay, what what's kind of a dream game announcement you would want you would like to have? Oh man, <laughs> a Riddler game? No, um, the Riddler Riddler challenge maps the game. No, oh Lord, no. Um, uh, yes. A game where you just collect Riddler trophies the whole time. No, oh, what game. a game! That's I, game. I would hate that game. I would hate that game so much. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, I would like to have a Fantastic Four game announced. Mm. Yes. Okay. 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 I think that would be fun. Uh, oh, that could be there. That could be Marvel's answer to Gotham Knights. Uh, I would really like a. Okay, I would really like to see a remaster or a remake be announced of something. I don't know how, but this is like this is me. This is me smoking crack. Okay, you heard that first would, here, ladies and gentlemen. Landon's a druggie. He's <laughs> I did. So, man, I feel like it sometimes. I would like a remaster. I don't know. I would like Disney to do some type of deal with Activision where they can release all their Spider-Man games. Make it doesn't an it doesn't. MCU Lego game. That's what I want. I want to Lego the Infinity no, Saga. Oh my gosh. Spider Man, Lego Spider Man, the video game, and have literally. Well, okay. I know you're obsessed with Spider Man, but like, come on. That's not realistic. Thank God. Very- it's realistic. They did Lego the Skywalker Saga, or they're doing it. And it's supposed to be a huge game. Why can't they can well, do the same thing with. A, they kind of did a Lego MCU movie. Yeah, with Lego Avengers, but like that. That was like the phase one through. That, that went up to <laughs> Age of Old One. Yeah. So, this, yeah. I, want, I want all of that. Plus the new stuff like Infinity War, I want in game. Oh, yeah. man, could you imagine how great that would be? Dude, the in game level would be pretty cool. That would be, and cool. you have all the characters. That, oh, man, mm. a lot of potential. Well, I hate it because we haven't gotten a Lego game in a while because they've been working on a Star Wars game. They've been working on a Star Wars game for like five years. <laughs> yeah, I, I, rem- I remember it was announced back in the dang Xbox show <laughs> back in like 2016. Yeah, dang, it's crazy. Yeah. Mm, well, it, you, it know crazy. you know what? You know what? You know what? We got Lego The Incredibles in like 2018. That game, I did not like that game. I never played. I never I, played that. I bought that game day one, and I was so wow. hyped. Like that, I just, I didn't even know there's well, so look, many. Isn't it like? Well, I like 20 I like characters. Games. 
I like Lego games. And I mean, I, yeah, I only like the like super the Bat- Lego Batman ones or like the Marvel well, Lego. Literally, Lego Batman one and two are masterpieces. And Lego and Batman like three, three, I don't three, know what happened three. with that. Have I ain't pl- like. And have you played Lego DC Super Villains? No, not yet. Man, what are you, what brother, are you doing? It's been brother, out for a it's month. Like my, my brother, my brother. Well, I, I got COVID <laughs> back in oh, March. That's yeah, back, back in, <laughs> that's you, you did. You got COVID, but like that's I got COVID. <laughs> yeah. And I yeah, you, you, had already played that game before. <laughs> okay, whatever. But like Noah. No one, no one was telling me it was good though. My brother, so. it is a very good game. Um, yeah, that's all. I mean, that's all I want to talk about for news. News wise, that's all I got. Uh, but um, I, I do want to talk a bit about the the podcast for a minute. So, mm-hmm. we're going to twenty twenty two. So, you know, this is big big thing going on. You want to uh, you want to announce the first big thing that happens in the oh week? oh yeah is this, is this happening? Okay. Well, you know, some of you, I, I don't know, we've kind of hinted about this, about a very special guest coming yeah. here first here to kind of kick off, you know, yeah. really good. We're mm-hmm. getting uh, Greg Katzman from Valiant Comics. Yes, he's from- the um, head of marketing. And head of marketing. Okay. So uh, he could probably show us <laughs> uh, how to market our, <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure show us so. what we're doing wrong. No, but we'll um, get it. We'll, we'll talk to him. We're um, mainly getting him on because January 19th. Uh, I think is the day. Uh, Shadow Man issue. Cullen Bunn's Shadow Man issue number five. So it's the Dead Side War. Which, um, if yep. you guys don't know what Valiant is, we have an episode where we talk about this fan movie that was made called Ninja vs. the Valiant Universe with a uh, guest host John Spillman, the Spillman himself. Spillman. Um, but he um, he gives the rundown of what Valiant is and stuff. But uh, we're going to be talking about the first four issues of the Shadow Man run. Um, and we're going to talk to him about if there are any like any kind of stories he has and um, different kind of like just insight into the Valley Universe. He also worked for comicbook.com and IGN, I think. Um, he was a reporter. So yes. um, we're, we'll get some yeah. stories maybe from that. And we'll just pick his brain a little bit, see how that goes. And we'll talk with the comics. <laughs> yeah, I shall. I shall and, and Landon's going to pester him about a, video, a game. Slip, I will make him slip, and I will make sure he makes a fighting game using uh, the Valley characters. <laughs> but we will <laughs> implant that idea. Oh, I will, I will, I will plant that seed into his mind. <laughs> he's just a head. I'm like, I, I like he can just like just snap his fingers and make it happen. <laughs> yeah, he's he the head of marketing. It. He can recommend it. <laughs> he could. You know, so. But um, yeah, that's we got that coming up here in about a week and a half. Um, <laughs> I, well, I, I I say the good side of if this goes well and doesn't crash and burn, <laughs> and, uh, we can get more people on here. You know, yep. and I, we would love to have I mean, Greg on. I mean, you know that you know the end goal. Oh yeah, you know the end Sam goal. You know who we're working up to. Sammy. <laughs> no, Kevin Feige. Nope, nope. Sam Raimi. <laughs> Kevin Feige and Sam Raimi at the same the the same get, episode. <laughs> same episode. The day we get Kevin Feige on this, we better be going to like a premiere. No, we're hey yeah yeah no, we're going to goal. yeah. <laughs> Yo, that should be the goal. If you know, we can you know get what? Okay. on before Spider Man Four, I get we're on a big podcast, ladies and gentlemen, but we are technically considered cr- um, content creators, like reporters. We are press. We report the news of the super yeah. stuff. So we should be invited to these premieres, technically, and Hall H at Comic Con, front row, because we're press. Huh? Yeah, if not on the stage and now to the people. <laughs> on the, yes. Hey, could you on, imagine? Oh, we in fact, to, we, we get to announce in, Kevin Feige. In fact, we are in the next MCU phase. <laughs> we are in no, phase We five. are the next MCU. <laughs> we are the phase five. But, um, but yeah, bright side of this is that we can have probably Greg, you know, Greg can come back on again anytime if, he wants to. If, unless we scare him off. Unless you scare, unless I scare, no, I'd say I'm most likely to scare him off. <laughs> You're yeah. right about that. Um, but we can have more people on here, you know. People, I'd say, heck, probably get some other guests on here if they want to, mm-hmm. you know, like normal people, if they want to shout their opinions on something, yeah, you know. But me, yeah, most <laughs> yell at me or you, <laughs> yeah. love to hear. Yeah, get um, the wire. Hey, here. well, oh. uh, he don't. I don't know what he's doing right now. He, uh, he's on. He's, he's in New York. He's like Central Park somewhere, hanging out, sleeping on a bench or something. <laughs> yep, some people. He's in No Way Home, probably. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what he's doing? Uh, but. <laughs> Yeah, we got some big stuff coming up this upcoming um, year. A lot of extra beef, the return of extra beef. 
is yeah. happening in just a couple weeks. <laughs> it better. Yeah. Um, I do want to say we are going to crank it full gear with our social medias. We were we were going pretty good on Facebook. Facebook is where we're it's Facebook's, Facebook's where it's at. Yeah, because me and you can both control it at the same time. It was way easier. Yeah. Easier. But um, yeah, starting next year, I know our Instagram was kind of <laughs> down for a bit. Dude, I'd say more than down. It was like dead. Uh, it is dead. <laughs> but yeah. But we but, yeah, we're that, we're, yeah, reviving that back up. Twitter, we're going to be tweeting like five times a week. It's, you know, once a day or something. So it's going to be really good. It's yeah, be really good. Big stuff coming next yeah, year. Big, like big, big promotion. Uh, you said, Darren, I didn't even know about this. You said the Patreon. Yeah, I'm working so, on the Patreon. Yeah, so we're going to expect me that. Him, so, have me and him discuss it. Mm-hmm. Let's see where we can have big, um, you know what I'm saying? More, uh, yeah, more content for you guys and, you know, talk over good rewards for mm-hmm. being yeah. part of the burrito beef. <laughs> or something. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, we got some good stuff coming up for you guys. It's gonna be a heck of a year. Uh, a lot of stuff to review. Lots, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Obviously, news is not gonna stop. We're gonna keep mm-hmm. important. And uh, yeah, I mean, just a lot of exciting stuff. Yeah. Um, and it would not be possible if not for all you folks that listen. Every week, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. This is the end of the year. We've made it. We started on July fifth. It's the first episode, mm-hmm. and um, it is now December thirty first. Is fifty eight minutes until twenty twenty two, and twenty twenty two will be the year of the burrito, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it shall be. We shall be number one. We shall beat the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> we will be on the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, yeah. no, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> no, no yeah. one, no one. <laughs> you don't know. We'll be on Fat Man Beyond with Kevin Smith. And I think. Rogan. I think we have a better chance of being on Joe Rogan or Fat Man Beyond and get Kevin Foggy. <laughs> yeah, on there. you got a point. But but like I, like we've said countless times, expect a lot next year. Um, talks of an extra beef series that'll probably go for the whole year, pos- or half the yeah. year at least. Um, we we somewhat discussed of a little another thing that we would like replace extra beef with for one week. Oh, yeah. That was that was reheated. Yeah, mm-hmm. But we'll we'll go more. We'll talk more about that and later. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, yeah, and what he's talking about with reheated um, could be something where we revisit a topic. Like, um, this is an example: revisit uh, Spider-Man three, maybe one day in the future. And talk about maybe, maybe our opinion, opinions change. Our opinion has changed. I would like to go if there's a movie I would. Really he wants to, to do to, Eternals. <laughs> I want to go back to do there's three: Eternals, Black Widow, and Zack Snyder's Justice League. I don't know. I want to watch Zack Snyder's Justice League again, please. I four can't, hours. I can't. Four hours. I've watched it too many times. I, I got but, something to say. Yeah. That reminds me, um, Eternals comes on Disney Plus January 12th. I don't so, care. I don't but, care. But you just said that we want to do an reheated episode about it. So. I, well, yeah, I need to, I don't even need to rewatch it. That movie's garbage. I can't mm. believe I gave it a seven. You might like it the second time around. <laughs> I might I might give it a five, honestly. You wouldn't. Oh. I gave it a 6.5. I, I want to say I, I gave it a 6.5. What are we talking about? We went from talking about games to like the future and then back to Eternals. <laughs> Eternals keeps coming back to haunt us. But, you know, uh, but I am excited for the next year. This is, I'd say, because I, I would say, because I'm out. I'd say, you know, we, we're kind of getting getting in the groove of things first starting off. And now, this is the new year. We're fresh. We're going, we're mm-hmm. going headstrong. So I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. We're going. I'm very excited. Uh, live streams. I want to do more live stream. I want to do. I, we haven't done a live stream yet. We're supposed to. We're we're not, stream. I want to do more. Yes. I want to. I, have, I want to do. I want to do one at least every other month. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd be cool with that. We uh, we'll play games or we'll just talk. Play games and yeah, just hang out. I would like to do a lot podcast one day, maybe on that, your birthday. Okay. My birthday. That'd be kind of cool. That's we'll a little do. difficult, but we. we How's it do. difficult? I, I have a. Well, I could do. We could do it. Maybe. No, you can't blame COVID for that one. Oh, I'm gonna have COVID, <laughs> so we can't do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. We're kind of pushing the time here a little bit. Yeah. Um, 
by that I mean we probably have like 25 minutes left. But I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, I've been keeping count, but yeah. we're but it's a good place to end it off. I huh. think. Yeah. Um. Next year, it'll be great. I'll stick with us. It'll be fun. Also, check out that Patreon. We will announce. I will announce that once it's fully set up and everything's ready to go. I still gotta get with some people. I want to see if I can get somebody to make some T-shirts. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yes. Yeah, I, I, I think I know some people myself. But again, we'll we'll, we'll discuss he's, that later. He's got context. Yeah, I got um, context. <laughs> all right. But that's all I got to talk about today. How about you? Um. Yeah, I got nothing else. Uh, just be ready for 2022. Yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. We will. Happy New Year. Yeah, we will see all of you in the next year. It's be crazy. This is this will be the last time we do this outro until 2022. Yeah. So, thank you everybody so much for listening this week or watching on YouTube, even though you don't really watch it. You just watch a little squiggly line the whole time. Um, but thank you all for being here, tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, corrections, or concerns, you can contact me on Instagram at DarienH4404. That's D A R I E N H 4404. Or on Facebook at the Comic Book Burrito colon official page. Very interactive over there. Highly recommend it. Or you can contact me on Twitter at the CB Burrito, capital C, capital B, capital B, and Burrito. Yeah, and uh, you can contact me at Spider underscore Landon on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm more active on Twitter and Instagram rather than Facebook. Uh, but we also, um, I'm the one that's active on Facebook. Also. Yeah, uh, yeah. Darren's more active on Facebook, but if you know, if y'all need me, Darren will call me, and I shall come to y'all's rescue. Thank <laughs> you. But I mean, we have a social media account on everywhere, so you can. It's very easy to contact us. Very easy to contact us. Yeah, and um, keep your ear out for the or an eye out, I guess, on the social media about announcement for the Patreon. And that's all I can think about to 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 well, us off. Yep, it's, I guess it's, it. yep. it's good to be back. Yeah, very good to be back good after be back. that well needed break. Yeah. So thank you all <laughs> so much for listening. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. See ya. Excelsior.